Uh, well, um, in India, you know, I've, I've grown up in different cities. So when I was in this one city called Kolkata, we used to celebrate this festival called Durga Puja. And there we create these pandals or structures and uh, they house the goddess in it. So when you enter the structure, you have this divine presence that you feel. Um, and I, and I grow, grew up watching this, being immersed in that, going and visiting these structures. And I wanted to make that feeling, you know, accessible to people around as well. So I think that feeling of making people feel at home, uh, feel more connected and centered to yourself, that's what in a way pursued me, you know, uh, to study architecture. I would have to say the climate crisis. Uh, you know, throughout the world, we've seen that only when it hits close to home do we start to take it seriously. Um, but we cannot be on the sidelines anymore. I think all of us in our own individual capacity has the power to transform our situation. That is why we're here. So even small actions like switching off the lights and fans, um, using recyclable products, they're all, they all help. In my own capacity as an architect, I try to um, go into ways where it is more sustainable, using local products and that way we can really help um, change that situation. Yes, absolutely. I think we have tremendous human potential. And if we can all gather together and rally our brains to figure out ways to use local materials, you know, um, as an architect, you look at how sustainable villages are, you know, in terms of using mud and adobe bricks instead of cement or concrete to build their houses. In that way, we reduce the carbon footprint and we're also being more sustainable in that process. Of course, you know, um, I am representing a country of 1.4 billion people and, you know, Harnas has done such an incredible job in being an impactful voice for all of us. She's shown how she's redefining what it means to be a woman in today's century. And it's definitely big shoes to fill, but it fills me with a lot of excitement because I come with a different kind of upbringing, a different kind of story. And I'm really passionate about making education accessible to all kids around the world. And that's something that I offer.